Buying a home can be intimidating. And most of the time it's intimidating because we have no idea what to expect. Well, in this video, we'll set your expectations and let you know what the process of buying a home looks like. Step one, this is a step that a lot of people miss, but this is prepare the money. When you're buying a home, you're either gonna have to pay a lot of cash for this home, or you're gonna have to get a loan to help you purchase that home. Being prepared to either write this big check, transfer the money from wherever the money is located, or be qualified, get pre-approved for a home loan is a step that must be thought through. Most people end up getting a home loan. As a result, preparing the money in a way that meets your financial needs and goals is a big deal. And that leads us to step two, finding an advocate. Having a team of people that can help you understand the best home loan process for you and the best home loan for your future needs is extremely helpful. They can help make sure that step one, preparing the money, is done correctly and that walking you through the rest of the steps is done in an easy and smooth way. This is not only an opportunity to find an advocate to help you with the home loan, but this is also an opportunity to find an advocate that can help you negotiate real estate contracts. A realtor is somebody who can help you do that. And a good home loan advisor can refer you to a trusted realtor that's in your community that will be able to take you through the next steps. Now we get to the fun stuff. Step three is go find a home. You're now armed with a pre-approval or a pre-qualification. You have a team of people in a home loan advisor and a realtor who have prepared you with the information and the tools you need. Now you get to find the house. After you found a home that's within your budget with meeting your needs, your desires, it's time for step four. That's where you agree to terms with the seller. This looks like writing an offer to the seller saying, hey, I'd like to purchase your home and here's the price I'd like to buy it at. This process typically has some back and forth. There might be some negotiation, some legal paperwork, some other documentation that has to be gone over and signed. It's not uncommon for a seller of a home to say, hey, thanks for your offer, but we'd like to counter that at this particular price. Once you have gone back and forth enough with the seller to where you feel comfortable to move forward, you are officially in contract. And that means it's time to move on to step five, and that's getting the money. Now, step one was preparing the money, making sure that you're qualified, making sure that money is in the right accounts, making sure that the home loan that you want is going to be set up properly for the home that you're going to buy. But the process of actually obtaining the money can't really happen until after the contract is signed. This is probably the least fun part of the entire process, as it's gonna require you to submit several pieces of documentation about your income, your credit, your assets, your debt, to ensure that you are not only qualified and good for the money, but you are going to be able to get the best interest rate and the best payment possible for that home loan. One big pro tip here is make sure you alert your lender right away. As soon as you are in contract on a home, let your lender know ASAP. That way they can start this process. Sometimes this process can take up to or longer than 30 days. A good home loan advisor can get that done much quicker, especially if you partner with them by giving them information as soon as possible. Now, as you're waiting for the home loan, the money to get all situated, you are going to simultaneously complete step six, and that is making sure the home is in good order. You do this with your realtor and with an inspector to make sure that this home isn't going to be a lemon or there isn't anything hidden within the foundation or within the walls that's going to cause issues for you as you own it years from now. In addition, it's likely that you may want to get an appraisal done on this as it helps understand if the home that you are purchasing is being purchased at the right price. These steps are important to protect you to make sure that the home is in good order and that the terms of the contract were also fair. Once step five and six are done, it's on to the last step, and that's closing the deal. This is where you meet at a title, escrow, or notary office 
to have all of the paperwork signed. The finalizing of the transfer of title, of ownership from the seller to you. The signing of any loan documents or wiring of money to ensure that the transfer of money from you to the seller happens as well. This process can seem really boring as there's quite literally hundreds of papers that you might have to look through. But with a great team of a home loan advisor and realtor, it can be a fun celebratory moment. One big thing that's important for you to know is that closing the deal is a process. Once the paperwork is signed, it does not mean the home is yours. In many cases, the paperwork has to be signed, reviewed, money has to be wired, and the transfer of title must be recorded with your county or your state for the home to be officially yours. So, do not schedule any movers, do not schedule any cleaners, do not schedule anything to be done on this home until the keys are in your hand. Step seven, the keys don't get into your hand until typically a day or two after you sign things at the closing, title, or notary office. So that's a high level view of what the home loan or the home purchasing process looks like. Hopefully this has helped you understand a little bit more. So as you go through this process yourself, you're armed with knowledge and you have a lot more comfort. If you're looking for a team of wise advisors to help you go through this process, to figure out how much money you qualify for, and to make sure the money is delivered in a very smooth way, go to moneywellrooted.com, click schedule an appointment to talk with one of our wise home loan advisors. Most people fall into YouTube holes that aren't productive. Subscribe or check out some of our other videos by clicking over here and I promise it'll be a YouTube hole worth your while.